We used to gun hunt. I primarily gun hunted my whole, my whole life. And somebody once said, you know, if you ever try bow hunting, you'll never put it down. And I thought, nah, nah, that's, you know, that's not me. I ended up killing a deer that scored 191. Then I killed a deer that scored uh, 179. And those are both huge bucks. Um, but you kind of lose the thrill of it. So then you started going more and more in big open fields, trying to kill deer at longer ranges. The longest shot I ever made was th uh, 639 yards on a deer. Killed a deer on Monster Bucks uh, video one time at 450 yards in Montana. So that got to be fun. But the first time I picked up the bow and the first time I shot a doe with that bow, I was hooked. And Jeff and I and everybody that, that have hunted together for years and years and years, you know, five years ago, we put the guns up and now we primarily bow hunt. There's just a thrill with it and uh, there's nothing like it. And even to the point where you'd be sitting in, a, in a, a stand and a doe would come by and you start to feel that nervousness in your chest. And then you'd sit and wonder, how am I ever gonna manage game seven of the World Series when I get nervous when a deer comes out with this bow? But that's the beauty of bow hunting. Um, it's just a fantastic sport. After a long season, it generally takes, and it's hard for people to understand, but it takes about four weeks or five weeks to decompress before you start sleeping again, you know, real comfortably. So the ability to get out, get up in a tree, and just breathe fresh air, where nobody's screaming at you, nobody's texting you, nobody's calling you, and you get to enjoy nature. There's nothing like it. You can sit and see how nature intertwines with everything from the bugs to the grass to the small animals to the big animals to the birds and you know in the air you know it's just a, for me a real real relaxing spot